How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to factory reset your Samsung phone. And by factory reset, I do mean erase it completely. Clear all the data, all the content, all the settings, absolutely everything from your Samsung phone. And this process is especially important if you're gonna, for example, sell or give away your Samsung phone. And of course, you don't want the other person to have access to any of your information. Or maybe if your Samsung phone is not performing really well, maybe it's a little bit slow, sluggish or buggy, by doing this, you're gonna give a brand new life to your phone. So without further ado, let's get started. Factory resetting your Samsung phone is extremely easy. We don't need a computer, all we need is the phone itself. So tap on settings, and then you're gonna scroll down until you see accounts and backup. So tap on this option, and this is extremely important, guys, because before we reset it, it's super important that we back it up, that we back up our data. And this is important because as I mentioned, with the factory reset, we're gonna lose all of our data. So we're gonna lose all of our files, all of our apps, photos, absolutely everything. So it's super important that you back up first if you don't wanna lose your stuff. And we have two options. We have the Samsung Cloud and the Google Drive. You can choose your favorite method if you wanna back up with Samsung or with Google Drive. I do prefer to back up with Google Drive, so then I'll choose this option. So backup data. And right here, you can use your Google account to back up all your data, all your files. All you have to do is tap on backup now and as easy as that, when the process is done, you're good, all your files will be saved, all right? So, now that we have the backup sorted, let's come back to the first screen of our settings and let's reset it, all right? All we have to do is scroll down once again, and we're gonna scroll down quite a bit this time until we see general management, as you can see right here. Tap on general management, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see reset, as you guys can see right here tap on reset, and then we have a few options, but the option that we want is factory data reset, this middle option right here. Depending on your Android version, the screens may be a little bit different, just slightly different, but the step-by-step -step is exactly the same. So first we go to reset, and then factory data reset. So tap there, and then as you can see here, it'll say everything that it'll do, everything that will be erased, everything that you lose. So that's why it's important to back it up. So then you can scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, all the way down until you see reset once again. Tap there on the big blue button, and then you're gonna enter your PIN, that's your lock screen passcode, and then tap on done. And then as you can see once again, another confirmation screen, delete all, and then it'll start the process. As you can see, you saw the Samsung logo, and then let's just wait. It'll just take a few seconds, it's super fast. So let's wait here, and we don't have to do anything at this point. Just wait, let it do its thing, let it restart, let it work, you don't need to do anything. And then, after a few seconds, we're done. As you can see here, we're seeing the welcome screen. That's your first setup screen, that's the exact same screen you see when you open up your Samsung phone, from the box for the first time, meaning that the process is over, we're done, and now you're ready to give away your phone to somebody or sell it, or even if you wanted to resolve some problem, it's done, it's clear, it's brand new, and now you have a brand new phone with you. If you're gonna sell or give away this guy, you can already give it away like it is, it's perfect, it's ready. If you're gonna keep the phone, you can simply start and set up your Android phone as you would normally, we're done. So that's it, that's literally it. If you enjoyed this video, I ask you to please hit the like button down below, subscribe button, a little bell icon, it helps me out so much, and also please give me your feedback down below in the comment box, I always do appreciate all your comments. So that's it, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, bye bye.